hi everyone hope you're all doing well welcome back to our channel in this video i'm going to talk about how you can ingest microsoft defender threat intelligence data to microsoft sentinel now the only prerequisite is that you should have access to this particular console which is security.microsoft.com and this section should show you some information which is threat intelligence section specifically again on security.microsoft.com now for this particular tenant i have m365 e5 licenses so i'm getting this data available or here i can access any information whatever i want but then with this being said all this information that we see over here is somewhere binded with the different iocs which microsoft is discovering right and we have to make sure that this data gets ingested to my threat intelligence section here. Now, when it comes to the console itself, okay, once, once you click on TI, you see there are multiple options over here. So the very first one here says that I can just manually add any of IOC or threat indicator data depending upon the insights that I'm getting. Now, whatever you're doing here, this is manual feed. Again, with this being said, this can be automated with APIs as well. However, our agenda is to make sure we ingest everything which Microsoft is discovering. Now, there is one more aspect and that is only ingesting data from a TI source to your SIM source has no purpose until and unless you have rules in place that can enrich your incidents. Now, what do I mean by this? That let's say, even though I get all this data to my SIEM solution, okay, but I'm not using that data to enrich incidents or I'm not using that data to add comments, let's say to my incidents, which will be helpful for a SOC, then practically speaking, this integration is of no use, okay? So as of now, I'm just showing you the integration part, which can be done. So this name that you see over here, which is, threat intelligence indicator is basically a table where all the data will be ingested okay so let's say if i click on run i'm getting one simple entry over here and that is the one which i have manually added let's say 192 232 and sorry 23 and again 32 so this is the one which i had added manually from this particular console you can see this is the one okay so what does this typically mean that whenever you integrate any TI based solution, okay, that solution will ingest data and the data will be available in any one of the tables. Since I'm talking about default solution, which is of offered by Microsoft, which is MDTI. So the moment we will perform the integration, everything will start getting listed over here. Okay. Now, first step is to look for the data connector itself. So for this particular demo, I have actually onboarded uh, the connectors uh, which are required. And this one that you see right now, it shows threat intelligence platform. This is the one which has been deprecated. However, the current one, which is the active one is this one, which is Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence. Now, there are a couple of concepts that I want to cover here, which is again related to MDTI itself and again, related to data connector itself. If at all you, while onboarding the connector, you get an option where you don't see any data connector, then don't onboard that particular data connector specifically for data integration. Now, what do I mean by this? That let's say if I go to content hub and here, let's say if I search for Microsoft uh, Defender Threat Intelligence, I can see one connector listed over here, but there is no option for connector. Okay. So if you onboard this connector, you will get eight playbooks and one workbook, but not the actual data connector, which is going to query the data. Okay. But let's say if I type now threat, okay. I can see one more connector here, which is threat intelligence. Okay. Let me expand this. And it shows featured, it shows preview. But here what you see four different data connectors. So in this particular case, what I will do is I will go ahead and install this connector so that I can query the data. Moreover, it's always recommended to read what is mentioned in the description of a connector. Okay. 
So the threat intelligence solution contains data connector for import of threat indicators into Microsoft Sentinel, analytical rule matching TI data, workbook hunting queries. Threat indicators can be malicious IPs, URLs, file hashes, domains, email address, and etc. Okay. So now if I click on manage, I will get multiple options again, which are available with this particular data connector. This is something which I have explained in a lot more detail in our data connector videos altogether. But with this being said here, I have to choose now one of these options to enable the integration. Now there are four different options, but the one which will be applicable to us will be this one, which is Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence. Now I'll click on this and let's see what all we get. So I'm now getting, I have been prompted to choose this particular connector and now I'm going to click on open connector page. Now, as you can see, it is showing me multiple sources and it is also showing me that what all sources can be used to perform lock source matching. I mean, this is again related to making sure that you use TI data. Okay. Now, while integrating MDTI, this is the option that you get that what is the amount of data that you want to get ingested to begin with. Okay. So, which means that go ahead and import everything which is available, which is let's say a month old, a week old, or let's say a day old. So what I will do is I will select this option of a week old so that, so that I can get all the data ingested and I can show you the data in the TI table itself. Now, again, oh, but this being said, since we have just made the integration, it typically takes some time for all the data to get ingested. However, once you have completed this process, then in a couple of minutes, you will see all the data, but I already have this integration in one of my other instance, which I can show you quickly. Okay. So let's say if I go to data connectors and here, let's say if I search for Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence, you can see it is showing me connected. This is one of my other instance. And if I click on open connector page, it will show me the same set of options, which I was showing you in my other instance. But here, what I have done is I have actually selected the option of everything. That's why it was such a huge amount of data. And you can see it is showing me the last data received was on Sunday, uh, which is today itself. And this is the particular date. Okay. So now I'm just going to close this and let me show you how exactly this data looks like. So let's say if I go to logs and if I close this and here, if I say threat intelligence indicator, I can go ahead and access the TI data, which is available in my tenant in the form of a table altogether. Now you can see itself that in last 24 hours, the data which has been ingested is beyond 30,000. There are 30,000 different entries uh, which are applicable. Now, again, with this being said, see, ingesting this data is not something that is going to help you until and unless you actually go ahead and make a use of this data. Now, making a use of a specific data altogether itself is a different task altogether. Right. I mean, we have to know how exactly TI works. So for sure, there, there will be a different playlist for that. But here I'm just trying to show you that what all different set of information is available, which can be used, you know, from a seam perspective, or let's say, or from a, a standpoint of enhancing the experience which your SOC analysts are getting. Okay. So as of now, if I see in last 24 hours, uh, the kind of threat type uh, which Microsoft has discovered and it has been ingested into my Sentinel instance. There are around 73,000 botnet activities or IOCs related to botnet. And then you have watch lists, you have malwares as well, you have malicious URL as well. Now, again, just one more small aspect that I would like to show you guys where I can simply apply different filters and I say where threat type typically contains, let's say, 
this malicious URL. Okay, so let's say I just want to know what are the malicious URLs that has been reported. So I'll click on run and it will give me the results of all the malicious URLs which have been found. Okay, so now if I scroll down this section, you can see these are all different URLs. So I can just say project URL and I'll get the list of all the URLs. Now, the question is how exactly this can be useful. Now I can write a query to go ahead and check device network events or my network events and see whether there is any communication that's happening from any of the machine to these particular URLs. So in this way, you can use TI data, practically speaking, to enhance uh, the limited set of information which your SOC analysts have. So yeah, that's it. I mean, uh, this is how the TI integration happens uh, with the default set of information which is available on security.microsoft.com. Now, If you go ahead and perform a deep analysis in terms of matching everything that's uh, going on here with the data that can be done, which is something for sure I will showcase when I'll talk about TI specifically itself. But as of now, from a SIEM perspective, from Microsoft Sentinel as a solution perspective, if you want to integrate TI data, uh, the one which is available with Defender XDR, these are the steps which I have just shown you. Moreover, with this being said, there are multiple other ways as well wherein you can go ahead and integrate a taxi solution or some other solution, your on-prem solution. Let's say you are getting a feed in your on-prem environment and you want to ingest data here you can do that as well so while i was explaining the ti part you can see now my other instance uh, which we have just set up in this particular playlist is also receiving data so let's say now if i go to logs and do threat intelligence indicator here for this particular instance as well we will start getting data you can see and now here the count is not uh, more than thirty thousand. you can see it's the same set of information that's coming here. So to summarize, step number one, go ahead and select the right data connector. Make sure you choose the one which shows you an option of data connectors. Okay, then it will navigate you to the respective connector configuration page, which was this one. And then, then you have to select uh, the import indicator timing. I mean, for how long or let's say for which period of time you want the data to be ingested, you can choose that and just click on connect and your TI data will start getting ingested. So this was all about knowing how Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence logs can be ingested to your Microsoft Sentinel instance. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how you can ingest on-prem Windows machine security events to Microsoft Sentinel. Now, if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.